Hi everyone, my name is Hannah and today I'm here to talk about five product management practices that I think every platform team needs to know. But first, why am I talking about this? I'm talking about this because over the past five years I've seen far too many teams struggle and fail to launch development platforms on Kubernetes. The worst of these platforms were burning through time, burning through money and burning out their engineers. Having seen what works and what doesn't work in the real world, I've come to believe that that treating your platform as a product and adopting product management practices is a key to success for scaling a platform, a cloud native platform that delivers value for the organization you work for and that delights its users. You do not need to be a have a dedicated product manager or have product manager in your job title to adopt some of these practices. So I'm going to share it with you today in the hope that you take a few ideas home that you can implement within your own teams. Too many platform engineers can't tell me why, why they're building their platform. So my first piece of advice today is to make sure that you understand what you're trying to achieve. What is the reason to build this platform? Understanding the why will give you focus and it will help you prioritize what to build. My second piece of advice is to go and find your users. When you find them, talk to them. I know, uh, controversial. Get to know them, get to understand their problems, frustrations, and pain points, and then set about solving them with the service that you provide, with the platform that you provide. Build empathy for the challenges of their role and uncover new opportunities to make their lives easier, not harder. I recommend you do a little bit of reading about how to conduct a good user interview when you go out and you talk to these people. Start by asking open questions, not leading questions. Try not to bring in your assumptions and solutions into the discussion. Try and just seek to understand the problem better. This helps us avoid field of dreams engineering. If you build it, they will come. When we create solutions um, and then go seeking a problem to solve, that is a sure way to waste everybody's time. Which leads me on to my next piece of advice, which is that time is money. It's as true today as it was in 1748, which is when this quote comes from. My third piece of advice is about being much more intentional about how we spend our time and whether or not we build ourselves or buy the solutions to the problems that we're aiming to solve. Because the IKEA effect is a thing. The IKEA effect is a cognitive bias in which people put disproportionately high value on things that they partially created themselves. This just doesn't apply to just flat pack furniture in your Billy bookcase. It also includes anything you've built in house, any custom solutions you built, or open source projects that you've contributed to. You'll need to fight the natural urge to place higher value on those things that you've helped to build to make the right decisions for your team. We often ignore the cost of ongoing maintenance, that we ignore the risk of creating knowledge silos, and we ignore the time it will take to onboard new people into your team if you've developed a custom solution in-house. In platform engineering, we're kind of lucky that we have a lot of empathy with our users, just naturally, because they're also engineers and they share a lot of similar needs to us. If you think back to the last time you had to adopt a new technology or product, what are the things that made it a great experience or an absolute nightmare? I'll bet it had something to do with the documentation and education that came alongside it. It is part of the user experience and you need to invest time in these things. You don't have to start with a blank sheet of paper either. You can curate the best available public content, the stuff that's available online already, and then you can augment that recommended public content with your own specific recommendations that are relevant to your platform and your organization. But whatever you do, don't forget this part of the process. Poor documentation can cause your users pain. So go and ask them for feedback on that whole experience. So as I come to the end of my talk, um, the final piece of advice I have is to now get out of the goddamn way. You've understood your users' needs and you've delivered a solution that works for them. You've documented how to use it. Now you need to make sure that you are not the bottleneck. Humans do not scale, so you need to drive towards a self-service model where people can get what they need without talking to you. Imagine if you had to talk to someone at your cloud provider to get a new VM or a new cluster provision. You would just not use that provider. It wouldn't work. And that's what you're doing to your users, your internal users, if you're putting manual processes and human interaction in the way of getting what they need. So get out of the goddamn way and make your platform self-service. 
So I'm going to wrap up with a quick summary of the five product management practices I recommend for building a successful platform. Understand why you're building the platform first and foremost, and then get to know your users, build empathy from them, and try and solve their problems. Then beware of the IKEA effect. Be really intentional about what you build or buy, because your time is valuable. Use documentation and education to make sure you smooth the process for your users who are going to adopt the platform. And then finally, get out of the way and drive towards self-service. Thank you for... Uh... <laughs>